Hello everyone, Jared here with Mod of the Nation's Rage, catching up with you on this week's bi-weekly vlog. Just letting you know what's new in my life and giving you an update on my situation that I'm in and even an update on my channel and maybe some future plans for my channel. The last time I made a vlog, I was getting surgery and so therefore it has been nearly two weeks since I've had my second surgery and if you saw that video then just like me you you uh, got some unexpected news that you were not anticipating I know I was not anticipating it so I'll uh, I'll remind you or let you know in case you didn't see that vlog but basically uh, my doctor he did the surgery um, a little arthroscopic surgery this is the scar from my first surgery but he he didn't cut me open like that he just made some incisions one here one here and one right here where my big scar is from the first surgery uh, so when he looked inside of my knee excuse me sorry about that he looked inside of my knee, uh, he got the cartilage out or whatever he said the, the initial problem was and why he was going to do the surgery, but then he realized that I have a torn ACL. Now I believe that my ACL has been torn since the initial injury on June 6th last year, so it's been over a year now. This past week made it a year since I injured my knee. And I'm pretty convinced that it all happened at the same time. It happened when I was injured. And somehow, the first doctor that did the first surgery missed the torn ACL on the first MRI. And my doctor that I have now is actually looking into that right now. He has the first MRI that was taken of my knee, and he's checking it out to see whether or not that's the case. I believe that's the case. When I injured my knee, when I heard the pop and my knee swelled up, I mean, if you do any research on ACL tears, they always say you hear a pop, your knee swells up to twice the size of your other knee, and that's exactly what happened to me. Um, so, to make a long story short, I'm going to need another surgery again. I'm going to need an ACL reconstruction. And from what they say, that will take care of the problem. See, I knew something was was kind of weird. I was trying to stay optimistic and everything when when my doctor that I have now back in March when he looked at the second MRI and he told me that I had loose cartilage inside of my knee. I was thinking loose cartilage. I, I can see where that may cause some pain but I was just skeptical to believe that you know a little bit of cartilage was causing the pain that I that I had had, the pain that I was having, and the pain that I am having now, which, by the way, whenever he did the second surgery and he he went inside of my knee, he did remove the cartilage. Uh, he also removed a lot of scar tissue that was built up behind this incision, and so basically everything that I I thought was wrong with my knee, I was right about from the get go. See, I thought that I had torn my ACL when the, when the injury first occurred and I got that first MRI done and, and the first orthopedist surgeon looked at it and I said, it's a torn ACL, isn't it? And he said, no, it's, it's a bucket handle tear of your medial meniscus. So we're thinking that maybe the, the meniscus tear was bad enough or so bad that they didn't realize the ACL was torn. And we're hoping that that's the case and that they're not that dumb, <laughs> but uh, anything's possible. So as of now, uh, I was supposed to start physical therapy last week. Um, my doctor has told me that I need to do six weeks of phys uh, physical therapy and after the six weeks point he will do the ACL reconstructive surgery. But, there again, the insurance company, the workers' comp, the adjuster, 
They have not approved any physical therapy. So here I sit two weeks after my surgery waiting for physical therapy that needs to be done so that more scar tissue doesn't form inside of my knee and I have no physical therapy. Not only that, but apparently they haven't made it uh, an, an important concern of theirs to uh, compensate me for last week either. So we're actually, uh, I, I'm, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so negative. I know that I'm on uh, the vlog that I did about four weeks ago, I sounded very negative. I sounded kind of like a jerk, and I just want to apologize about that if you saw that vlog. I didn't mean it like that. And I don't mean this today. I'm just extremely frustrated. Um, you know, these people, they, they have a swift tendency to kick me when I'm down. This isn't the first time they've done this to me. Yet they're continuing to do it to me. So we'll see how all this turns out. Uh, but as of yet, uh, I'm awaiting on a, uh, approval for physical therapy. And then they have to approve the ACL reconstructive surgery. And my attorneys let me know that there's a good possibility they may say that they're not going to pay for that. And they may try to say that I injured my ACL after the fact, after my first injury. So that's what I've got my doctor do. And now he's looking at that first MRI to find out if he can see where my ACL was torn in the first MRI that I had from last June and so that's going to help a lot and I, I'm, I'm like 98% positive that my ACL tore before my meniscus even tore because of doing the research and learning about how each injury occurs and what happens uh, and so I'm convinced that my ACL has been torn for the past year and I, I just haven't known about it. I was under that suspicion. They told me it wasn't, so I trusted them and apparently they were wrong. So moving on from that, uh, I am happy to say that I have gotten some more subscribers since the last time I talked about this about four weeks ago. My channel has reached nearly 20,000 views uh, with all the videos combined. Yet there still is that one video, the opiate withdrawal video, that has 12,000 views on it. And that's where most of my views have come from. I think that's where most of my subscribers have come from too. So it's like I said uh, last, or well, a couple of vlogs ago, I said that I think some of those people that are subscribing to my channel, once they realize what it's all about they might get disappointed and they might unsubscribe. But as of yet, I have 66 subscribers altogether. And I'm pretty happy about that. I'm pretty excited about that. I think that the, that it's uh, ill timing and that the timing isn't great for my channel to grow because, you guys, I'm, I'm in worse shape now than I was, you know, six months ago or even when I started the channel I mean I was in pain when I started the channel but it's like ever since he he uh, did that surgery a couple weeks ago and he cleaned out the joint my knee joint it feels unstable and you know it's it's really hard to walk and I'm in pain 90 percent of the time and you know that pain that I'm having now is some of the most uh, severe pain I've had since I had my first surgery. So <clears throat> there's not a whole lot that I can do right now as far as making videos. And I hope you guys can understand that. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that, you know, I'm in pain most of the day. Every single day I'm in pain. And... You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for physical therapy, I need physical therapy. That's one of the only things that's going to help with the pain, you know, they give me painkillers or whatever, but when it comes down to it, those are just a band-aid, those aren't going to fix the problem, I need professional therapy. <laughs> that's, 
these people are going to make me need professional therapy before it's over with. But no, what I mean is I need physical therapy with a professional that knows what they're doing. Uh, and so far, nothing, you know. So I'm kind of just stuck in this rut until I get any word back that they've lifted any of their fingers to help me out and do what they are required to do by law. Uh, this has been the most, one of the most frustrating years of my life, to say the least, about being on this workers' comp. There is nothing, uh, there's nothing good about being on workers' comp. There's nothing positive about it. A lot of people might think, oh, you don't have to work and you get paid. No, it's, it's not worth it. What I get paid is barely enough to cover a portion of my bills and then on top of that there's no guarantee that they're even going to pay you when they're supposed to you know my my power is about to be turned off because they haven't paid me like they're supposed to you know I, and I, like I said before I'm sorry that I'm being negative it's just simply my frustration when it comes down to it I know that God will provide for us he has in the past. He's taken good care of us for the past year. And there have been many situations like this one where you know we thought that we were in trouble. We didn't know what to do. We didn't know which step to take next. And God came through. God comes through every time. So I'm not going to let it hinder my faith. I'm not going to let it hinder my praise for God, to God. I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to try my best to stay positive despite my frustrations. And, you know, <laughs> uh, this, this is definitely a different vlog in comparison to all my, all my other vlogs, but I'm just, I'm being real with you. And I'm letting you know how things are going for me. And I'm letting you know why my channel has pretty much become abandon over the past few weeks is because I simply I don't have it in me to to make any videos right now I'm just I'm frustrated I'm ready to feel better I'm ready to not have any more pain and I'm ready to move on with my life like I've been saying this whole time so you guys pray for me you guys pray for my family that some cogs can start to turn in this situation and we can move forward and stay moving forward until we're through this junk because we are all fed up we have all had enough of this and you know I can't blame anybody specifically you know it's it's just an insurance company it's it's nothing personal against anybody that works for that insurance company it's just the fact that they are not addressing something that's very important, but because it doesn't penalize them in any way, it, it is no more important to them. They're taking their sweet time because it doesn't affect them. They're not considering the fact that there's a family, and I, I'm not trying, please don't think that I'm complaining and I'm. I'm I'm feeling sorry for myself or anything like that, but I'm just stating the fact. They're not considering the fact that there's a family that is slowly, you know, coming undone because of the situation and that they have the power to make a bad situation better and they're just simply not doing it. I'm not saying that this situation is going to tear my family apart or anything like that. We're not... We don't depend on money, we don't depend on men, we depend on God. But what I'm saying is, basically, figure as a figure of speech or a metaphor, they have their finger on the button. They have the choice of whether or not to push the button to help the situation, and yet they will not push the button. It's as simple as that. They're stalling. They're de delaying the inevitable. And that's about all I have to say. You know, I'm sorry that, that this vlog has sounded so negative and that this is...
pretty much uh, in contrast with my character, the character that I usually have in my videos and who I usually am, but I'm just being raw and I'm being real today. That's what these vlogs are about. Real life. Okay? Um, there was one other thing I wanted to talk about, and it was the vlog that I made on my back porch a couple of weeks ago, or, or actually a few weeks ago, four weeks ago, about my channel and about uh, not making videos to please people. I didn't mean that in, in a bad way. In other words, I appreciate everybody who watches my videos. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching my videos. That's not what I meant. I just meant that I'm not doing this with the mentality that I'm going to become famous from doing it or I'm going to become rich from doing it. I'm doing this because I enjoy doing it. And I'm not going to make myself look like something that I'm not. I'm going to be myself. That's what's so fun about it, is I can be myself. And it doesn't matter who likes the video or who doesn't like the video, who watches it or who doesn't watch it. That's not what's important. What's important is that I'm having fun and I have that memory. You know, there's there's a, a extremely popular channel on YouTube right now known as Shaytards, and I'm sure a lot of people know about this channel, and it's a family, and they do vlogs, and, you know, they're, they're part of the hype, they're part of the YouTube hipster hype and everything, and they fall into the mainstream, but they make good videos, and what's, what's awesome about it is, I don't believe they make videos to be popular. I think that their original idea to make videos was to record the memories, their slogan is that if if life is worth living, it's worth filming. I love that. I love that. I think that's awesome. And uh, Shay Carl of Shay Tards actually made the statement one time that someone asked him on his channel. They asked him, you know, how do I get past the uh, the, the self-consciousness or the, the fear of putting myself out there in front of a lot of people by making vlogs. And Shay Carl simply put it that imagine you're at your funeral, you're standing in front of your coffin and you're looking at your corpse and you're asking yourself, what could I have done with my life that I didn't do? And if you do that, it will give you the motivation that you need to film yourself and put yourself out there, in other words. I think that's awesome. Think about that, though. You know, yeah, this, this is a... a th you are putting yourself in a vulnerable position by uploading videos to YouTube, but at the same time, it's worth it. My son just walked in. It's worth it because you have that memory He is another reason why I make YouTube videos, because he loves them, and he'll grow up, and he'll be able to keep all those memories of when he was a kid, and he was playing and having fun. We have so many videos of Jonah here. These are the reasons why I do this. It's totally worth it, and I'll let you go with that. It's not about being popular, it's not about being known or becoming rich, it's just simply about making a memory and keeping it. It's a keepsake. So, keep that in mind, I'll see you guys later. Thanks again for watching. God bless.